Welcome at the video how to use Bemesting Online. After this video, you will be able to work with this online application. In the film, we will tell you everything what's in the index. If you want to go to a topic on the index directly, go to the time and watch only that part. Logging in, go to the website www.bemestingonline.nl Please keep in mind capitals or symbols in your username or password and selecting the English language in the corner of the web page. Log in by entering your username and password. Click the login button to get access to your account. Homepage. When logging in, you will have access to the company data. At data slash analysis, you can see the company details including the location and the results of the sample analysis. When clicking on the Graphs in Time button, you will see an overview of all cultivations. Here you have the possibility to create graphs or analyses from different cultivations per element analyzed. By clicking the Log Out button, you can log out at any time. Company Data by clicking the Data slash Analysis button, you will see a summary of all companies that are assigned to the user that has been logged in. When clicking on the Location slash Cultivations, behind each company, you see the cultivations and analyses from every company. Looking at Analysis results, select the sample to look at by clicking the box. If you want to view a water sample, in addition to historical data, select one sample that you want to view by clicking the box for the sample. Next, click the Review button. You can make a printable PDF file by pressing the Export to PDF button. The results of the sample will be visible and the historical data. If you want to see young and old leaves linked in one report, select the two samples from the same date by checking the box for these two samples. Then click on Reviews. The result is visible in the bar chart. Young leaves are visible in light green and old leaves in dark green. You can make a printable PDF file by pressing the Export to PDF button. step-by-step -step plan for creating a series of graphs. When clicking on the Graphs in Time button, you go to an overview of all crops. Step 1. Select one or more of the companies slash locations slash cultivation from which you want to compose a graph. Step 2. You can mark the kind of analysis, for example, plant sap combined with a plant part, such as leaf, yam or fruits. It's also possible to combine plant sap and water samples in one graph. Step 3. By naming and saving the graph series, you can view the graph later without having to recreate them. Determine the timeline for which you want to make a graph by entering the start date and end date. Step 4. By naming and saving a series of graphs, you can view the graphs later without having to recreate them. Pay attention! If you want to view the graphs at a later time, you must enter the new date, then press Save. Step 5. With formatting graphs, you can make adjustments that influence the design of the charts. This way the thickness of the line, the type of marking, the style and the color can be determined. It's recommended that young leaf, old leaf and irrigation water of one variant be given the same color. This gives a better overview in the graphs. And then save again. Step 6. When clicking on Generate button, the graphs are loaded. This may take a few seconds, depending on the speed of the internet connection. Step 7. If the default start and end date are not correct, they can still be changed by then clicking the Generate 
button again. The change is reflected in the graphs. Step 8. Once the graphs has been loaded, it's possible to export the graphs to a PDF file. The PDF file can be saved on your own computer. When you click on the Export All Graphs button, the PDF file is compiled. Pay attention. To make clear graphs, it's important that the samples that belong together get every time the same name. Pre-printed labels are the best tool for this. Ask about it with your next order. Additional Help Tools Graphs Series Reading data in the graphs. By moving the mouse to a point, you get more insight into the specific moment of the measurement. Save chart separately. By clicking Save and PNG, you can save selecting graphs. Adjust the y-axis. Adjusting the y-axis can be done in order to gain a better insight into a specific measure range. Add comments. You can add comments to a chart series so that becomes visible later on when the graphs are exported. Zoom Graph. If you want to zoom in on a shorter period, by moving the cursor to a point you get more insight into the specific moment of measurement. The selection field will turn purple. With the press of the right mouse button, you can go back to the original selection. Show thicker selection line. If you click on the selection field, the corresponding line is printed thicker. Target lines. If target data is available for a particular crop, this will be visible in the graph by two thicker horizontal lines. Overview of measurements data. The analysis reports of a graph series can be viewed. Click on the button for this overview of measurement data. The same results slash data that can be seen here can be exported to Excel. Click on the export to Excel button. Take several years in one graph. Under period, select how many periods you want to put in one graph. Three periods can be laid over each other. Note that the date do not overlap. Each period can be given separate names. Graphs look the same in terms of design, only now both periods are visible. If you have any questions after this video, please let us know. You can find our actual contact information on our website. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.